Hello and welcome back to the world of Forza Horizon 4. As promised, here is the Ital Design Zero Uno. Now, I know this came out nearly a month ago. Don't hate me, I've had other things on my plate to deal with. But it's finally here. I all you had well, all you had to do was complete three races in a weekly championship in the Forza playlist. I can't, I can never remember what's it called. Festival playlist, I've just remembered. I keep on wanting to call it the Summit because of the Crew 2 because, well, in my opinion, the Crew 2 does the weekly events better. But anyway, we are here with the Italian design. Now, I don't know whether to call this more a car or a rocket ship because this thing looks more rocket than it does car. It's got so many fins, grills, winglets and other little aero tricks on it. I mean, look at the size of that. You could grill a medium-sized turkey alone on that rear diffuser plate. And the rear suspension, you can see. Anyway, but, you know, on the face of it, it looks amazing. But under the skin, that is where it gets a different story. Because really, this thing is just a horribly overpriced Audi R8 slash Lamborghini Huracan. Because if you look... It shares the same 5.2 litre, naturally aspirated V10 that powers both of those cars. It has 602 horsepower and it weighs just over one half tons. Has got four wheel drive the same. The only difference is the bodywork. So as the last episode with the Porsche 718, I am going to see what it's like stock and see what it's like once i've upgraded it to a regular class and not overly stupid now first off where are the exhaust oh 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 um oh um okay those exhausts are a bit bigger than what they are in either of its competitors and oh i i, I love the little lights i love the little christmas lights they're so cute but, you know, have a look around this thing. First impressions. There are so many aspects to this car. Like, I mean, look, it funnels air from the headlights and stuff like that over the top of the wheels to create ground effect to increase cornering. And that rear wing, I'm sorry, that is straight from the Huracan Performante. Please put it in the game. But anyway, uh, well, let's see how it sounds. Oh, oh! I don't care what you say about them. Audi make a good sounding V10. Oh. Okay, no mucking around. Let's go to a race and see what we can do. Because there's no point in having a car like this and not seeing its true potential, if you will. So we will go to my favorite racetrack, the Asmore Heritage Circuit. Hmm. It's under hypercars. I wouldn't have thought that. That changes quite a lot because instead of supercars, now it's up and going up against these big boys. And, you know, fun fact, the F12 TDF is monstrously quick in S2. You know, it may not seem like it, but it is. You've got uh, Aventadors, you've got the McLarens, oh, you've got Senna's, you've got Zondas, you've got the Rimac here. Oh, I feel sorry for this little boy. Mind you, it has got quite a lot going for it. So, we'll see what it can do. Okay, here we are at the Asimov circuit. I instantly see another Ital design, but let's see what there is. There is the other Ital design. We've got a Huayra, that's not bad. A CCX. Let's hope there's not a tire wall. You know, bonus points if you know where that's from. Got a regular Aventador, a CCAS, not bad. Uh, Noble, 
beautiful car, but shame about the clutch. Another Aventador, a Zenvo. Don't see many people driving it because they can't be bothered to do the, uh, the story. Uh, and I'm not telling you, so go and play the game. Uh, you got a Noble, another Noble, and another Lamborghini. So, ah, balls. Let's see what this bad boy can do. It's got four wheel drive off the bat, so it should launch like a petrified bee going into church. Oh my god. Oh, the Lamborghini's just cutting us off instantly. I'm getting sandwiched. Okay, okay, even though it's classed under hypercar, this thing pulls major cut. Can the Pagani not? Can you not park it on? Get out of the way! Oh, and now he's going to pull because he's got an extra 160 horsepower on me. I'm distracted by that sound track. Oh! I can have him here. Sorry, fence. Sorry, fence. Sorry, fence. Oh, 9,000 RPM from a naturally aspirated engine. I don't care. If electric cars sounded like this, I'd have them in a heartbeat rather than a monk trying to play a Nintendo 3DS. Oh, I'm having a crisis with this engine. How am I supposed to drive when I'm hearing that dirty, dirty noise from the back? And what do you know, the other Italian design is here up at the front. I, I don't know where the rest of the pack's gone, I can't see them on the map. I, I really can't see them. One thing though, this other guy is good because he's pulling. Cheeky overtake, cheeky overtake, cheeky, 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 yes! Ow! I wonder if I can beat the Cayman's 58 seconds, and that was upgraded as well to the top of its class, and this thing is just bare bones. Don't want wheel spin, that's not what we like. This thing feels a lot faster than what you're actually going. Like it feels right now with that soundtrack and going a billion. I'm really I'm only going a hundred, if that. Come on, come on. Let's see if I can give that Porsche 718 a run for its money. Oh, 59 dead. But look at that. The other ID zero Uno was at a minute and everyone else is either at 101s or 102s. So on average, we're at least two seconds quicker apart from if there's another ID. Look at that, one and two. Right, well, let's go to the festival and see what we can do to this bad boy. So we are here in the upgrades. Let's see if there's any unique parts or any interesting parts. So engine swaps, let's see what we can do. We've got the regular 6.5 V12, okay. And the racing V12. Well, I'm not going to get what either one of them. Because it will be sacrilege. You can convert it back to rear wheel and it doesn't change. Even though you lose all that performance, okay. And you've got the regular turbo and supercharger. So, let's see if there's any aero parts. Front part, regular 
it don't even need it. It's just excess on top of excess at that point. Let's see if there's the roll regular fours are wing. Oh. 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 Oh, we're having a crisis. That thing is the definition of overkill but necessity. It goes from that to a separate roll cage for the rear spoil. Oh. You know, why would anyone go for the Forza Wing over that? I mean, why? And then you can remove it all together to create what is a very slopey back. Oh. Oh. Let's see if the wheel space. Oh, there is wheels. Oh. Oh. I mean, look at that exhaust. That is pure Lamborghini, you know. There's no hiding it. So, at the end of all that, we are just over one and a quarter tons now. Uh, we couldn't get to a thousand, but we're at 988 horsepower. That's still not bad. And we go from 2.1 G's, that's already good, to 2.4. Holy hell. Oh, I like that black and orange. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the paint job with the N O. Oh, it revs to nine and a half thousand RP. I mean, oh, it even sounds better in here. Oh. 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 But this interior, though, it's just. Well, what there is of it, it's just carbon fiber, and the rest. They nick from Audi and changed the colors on the interface because that is just Audi's dash with a different color, and they've spray painted the wheel gold. But these are all minor details, and the worst part is no one's ever going to see any one of these in real life because they only made like 15 of them and no one's ever going to drive it because they're ridiculously expensive because you could get around six to seven Audi R8s the current version for one of these and my god it's fast at the top of S1 so uh, let's see what it can do again Boink. And we are back at the Heritage Circuit. I love this circuit. I can already see a Senna and a Ventador, but let's see what we're going to go up ahead. We've got a McLaren Senna, we've got another Noble M600, we've got an Aventador, obviously. Oh, we've got Koenigseggs now with the proper RS editions. Both two there. We've got a Porsche 918 and another McLaren Senna, another Senna, another 918, an Aventador and a 918. Well, we've... Uh, graduated from minor to almost the whole of Trinity so let's see what this jumped up little Audi R8 can do and see if it can handle with the big boys well that's just preposterous launch I'm already up to fourth make that third Oh, 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 it does have bad understeer though once you take it up to the top of S2. But if you get it just right, one, one mile an hour over what it can do, and it will snap. No doubt about it, it will snap and you'll either have massive oversteer or massive understeer and crash into a tree. Now that Aventador is very fast in a straight line, but I have a sneaking suspicion and we're already past everyone. 
with the bad gear changes at the end of the first lap. Are you joking me? Oh god. Are you joking me right now? This thing is insane. It's properly insane. How is something rebranded like this? Because that's all it is, it's a fancy rebrand, let's get it right. How is something like this so good? I'm gonna go for interior for the last lap to experience this majesty. I went into this thinking it's an overpriced Lamborghini, it's, it's an Audi R8 with a spoiler, but it so isn't. It's got an attitude, it has got a raw emotion, it has got things that can't even be even perceived by the human vocal library yet it is raw it's primal and it is won me over completely oh my word 53.4 and i wasn't even aiming for a hot lap and everyone else is just finishing now what's the closest the closest to me is a 54.7 and that was the Aventador, but that is still 1.3 seconds a lap faster than a full-blown V12. Well, this car is... It's won me over. I'm not going to lie, it's won me over. But anyway though, I have been your host, Metalgate. I hope you like this new series where I'm testing out cars and hopefully you'll see ones that, you know, you don't see. And with that, you know, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure post notifications is on. If you like this video even more, hit the like button. If you want to see me do anything else, leave a comment down below. I do read them and, you know, I'll see if there's any challenges or anything like that. That piques my interest and I will do them. Until the next time, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Good night. That was a very dense one.